When you're editing a first-class document, particularly a first-class document for the web, you often want to put hyperlinks into it. So I'm going to open up my document right here. And in this, I'm going to pick a section of my text that I want to turn to a link. Remember, when we think of links on the web, they're blue and underlined like this. If I, if I click them, they'll take me somewhere. So I need to pick the text that's going to become my link. And then I'm going to click the Make Link button. It's the red bar with the blue arrow there. When I click that, it pops up this format link. There's all sorts of technical gobbledygook here, but basically the thing you need to know is that the URL, the web link, goes in this target URL box. And there are a bunch of ways of figuring out what link you want to do. One way is if I want to link to something on the web, I can simply copy and paste a link in there. So that I've got the URL of something on the web, and now I've got a link in my document to the web. That's great. Another way of doing this, if I want to link to another document that I'm working with, is that I can highlight it, click Make Link, and then here I am in Web Published. I, I, I have all, 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 of the, all of these documents in here that I might want to link to. And for example, if I want to link to a PDF, I can just drag my PDF onto the link <coughs> um, window. You'll note that my mouse turns into a plus right here when I'm in the gray area. Not when I'm in the white area, but in the gray area. And I drag this in here, and something that looks kind of like the, the file name shows up in there. That's the URL. I just click OK, and I have another link. Um, finally, if I were if I wanted to create a link for something that would download rather than open in my web browser, I could do the same thing again. But this time, rather than dragging the PDF file, which opens in most web browsers, I could actually drag in my zip file here, which is actually a MLL file. And now I have a bunch of links in my document. And if I save this and open up my web browser and take a look in my portfolio now, remember Laura Mipsum was the document I was editing. If I open this up, I now have links to these various documents. So for example, if I click this link, it takes me to the place on the web. If I click this link, it opens up my PDF. And if I click this link, it downloads my document. 